All right, so maybe some of you have seen this before on our main channel. I'll give you a quick look here. Uh, pods of massive sulfides. You got quartz here. Uh, you got magnetite. You have your host rock, which is a chlorotized schist. You can see massive sulfides. Again, more massive sulfides here. Mineralized quartz. You have a couple of these here, up there. Got another one. Got more here. So you have mineralized quartz veins, but you also have pods of uh, massive magnetite, which are so deteriorated. Another one up there. You have another one here. But what we wanted to do is take a look at one that we haven't looked at other than briefly and pull a sample off of it. So up here, you have another one. And here you can see your magnetite right there and you have iron pyrite. So what we want to do right now is pull a sample or two off Take a look at them and uh, see if there's any worthwhile to send into a lab. So I'm seeing some nice mineralization already just by some grab samples, so I think we can find something good. It's a little foggy out, so kind of making the area a bit dim, so I got the light on here. So we can have a bit better look. You got solid sulfides there. We'll expose this a bit more. You can see a little bit of black there. Here you have magnetite. Another sample here, massive magnetite. So we'll expose this and see if we can find something definite. Got a bit more there. So it looks like you got mineral in your host rock as well. Looks like uh, Chalcopyrite and pyrite at first glance. There's lots of pyrite in there. So you got two kinds of uh, deposited mineral here, two different deposits in your host rock as well as in uh, magnetite pods and quartz veins. We got another little sulfide vein here, which is going through your host rock. Pretty small, but Looks like it's uh, in between your layering of your schists. Gonna hammer it a bit more. There we go. Another big hunk of that small sulfide vein. This is extremely heavy. Break it open. Another good sample, lots of disseminated mineral and small little stringers of pyrite. So we got some nice looking samples here. This is uh, your host rock. And then we have some more over there of the magnetite pods. Biggest one we found is about a meter, a meter and a half and it's basically a pod of massive sulfides, magnetite. So we got uh, enough samples here for an analysis. I'm gonna get an analysis for you on this vein, so we'll post it at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.